How many of you are interested in a super lightweight, maneuverable, easy to shoot AR-10 308? Yeah, exactly. This is Ruger's SFAR. Is it going to meet our needs of all of that? There's only one way to find out. Nice! Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. I'm Drew Case, where I only give you honest product reviews. No podium, no pulpit, and no politics in these days. That's a hard one. Anyway, I did a review on this and actually everything on this, so I don't want to repeat that. I'll have all the links below for all of the individual ones. You're going to want to check that out. And anyway, let's just get to it. I want to keep this kiss, keep it simple, stupid. Let me show you what I've got here, and then let's start having some fun quick here before we get to shoot and I want to point out everything that I've got on this so we have just the basic SFAR okay and then I've got my mag pole 45 degree sights and I did a review on those I absolutely love those I've got my favorite uh, optic on here it's a 3x prism by primary arms it's the ACSS Raptor and it's specific for the 556 and 308 then I have a trigger tech diamond in there AR 10 I absolutely love that trigger. That is huge as far as the accuracy. I got a single point sling. I have my favorite pistol grip. This is by Trill, the RTG. Just the angle and the way it fits in my small hands. I absolutely love it. And then I've got uh, the Fab Defense, uh, the Impact. I did a review on that too. And just with everything as is, and you know, and I, I think a lot of it has to do with the the butt stock and the recoil absorption. Guys, I don't notice anything with this as far as recoil. It, it is just a pleasure to shoot. And with all of this on there, and of course, I've got my Silencer Co. Omega on there. But if we take that off, and even with that, this is ridiculously lightweight, easy to maneuver, comfortable in the hands. It just... You know, this is why with this combination, I think this is my hands down number one pick for a 308 AR-10 to carry. Now, I'm not going to argue that this is the best all around, you know, reaching up there, shooting distance 500 yards and beyond. Um, but as far as a carry, I don't think that you can really beat this. I mean, not for the price, not for what you're getting. Oh, and I also forgot with the trigger tech, I have the ambidextrous fire select and it does the 45 and that's huge. I love that. Okay, before the wind picks up, we've got a beautiful morning. Let's see what we can do at some distance with this. Okay, that was 300. Whew, a lot of smoke there. That's off a of fresh cleaning. Let's try four. Oh. It's a bad thing with a bag. All right. Let's try, let's try five. Nice! Hmm, getting a lot of smoke. 
All right. That's not bad, considering we just did a Battlefield Zero with a 3X and some range ammo. Okay, so I did the full review on this, and I did the review on the iron sights. Let's just see what we can do here at 200 yards. See how far we can go with the iron sights. Yeah, that was easy. Let's try three. Nice! That's awesome, guys. What I want to do now is I'm going to let this cool off, and then we're just going to see what we can do standing, and then uh, then I want to see what I can get for groups over there, down there at 100 yards with some different ammo. Now, how many of you are interested in crazy, stupid deals on guns and ammo and shooting accessories? Yeah, that's a stupid question. Of course you are. If you have not checked out my crazy, stupid deals on my webpage, you need to go check it out. It's an email subscription you sign up for. It costs you absolutely nothing. That means free, and you can unsubscribe at any time. I get bombarded with emails every day with just sale items and crazy, stupid deals. And what I do is I collect those and then I shoot them out at the end of the day in an email blast. Now, during the day, as they're coming in, I'm cutting and I'm pasting and I'm putting them on my X page. People absolutely love it. It saves you a ton of time and money. While you're on my webpage, I've got stuff like blogs, recipes, a lot of cool stuff. You're going to want to check that out. I'm trying to work on a YouTube membership. Hopefully, it's going to go through the way I want. It's going to depend. Anyway, you're going to want to check that out as well. Okay, like I said, one of the things that I absolutely love about the, the SFAR is how light it is, how easy it is to shoot the low recoil. Let's just see what we can do standing here at some different distances. We'll start off, we'll use the, uh, the prism. Okay, let's flip over, use our iron sights. Yeah, I missed. All right, let's go 200. I have a hard time seeing the iron sights. Nice. Try the iron sights at two. Yeah, let's go three with the prism. There we got her. Nice. I mean, <laughs> any more standing. I'm not near as good as I used to be standing, but man, it, it, there's just no recoil. You know, AR-10, some people don't mind it. I've had shoulder reconstruction, and so sometimes they can be, you know, a little bit uh, make my shoulder sore over a range day. I don't even notice this. It feels like I'm shooting a 223. What I want to do now is um, let's see what we can get for groups using some different ammo at 100. The ammo that I got lined up for testing the accuracy, you know, keep in mind we're using a 3x prism optic that was zeroed at 50 yards, but I am curious, you know, what we can get for groups with this setup. So what I want to do is I want to do five shot groups, wait 15 minutes in between each, let that barrel and especially the suppressor cool down and hopefully, you know, maximize. Now, we may be shooting a little high with that zero. I'm curious to see how far, but as you saw, as far as the battlefield zero, it worked great. Real quick, just show you the sight picture that we've got here for the groups. 
So this is what I'm seeing for the groups at 100 yards. Okay, real quick, I'm gonna show you sort of how I'm shooting these five shot groups. Um, I'm not gonna do this for every single one. I do wanna check real quick just to see our... Oh, hey, all right, well, that worked. Love this trigger. Oh, <laughs> I can't wait to show you that one. Anyway, I'm not going to repeat this for all of them, but you can see how I'm shooting them. So that was the last round. Let's go check out these groups. <laughs> Guys, that is not bad using a 3X micro prism at 100 yards. Man, check that out. I mean... There's a lot of times I don't even get groups like that using a high power scope. You know, that's that uh, AAC, the 100, what was it, 178 grain boat tail hollow point match. Sweet. That's their soft point. That's the hunting ammo. I am so, oh, yeah, federal. That rocks. Nice. Sweet. Okay. You saw what I was seeing for our sight picture at 100 yards, you decide what you think. This is where I would drop the mic and walk off the stage. Well, there you have it, guys. You know, the proof is in the pudding. You decide what you think. You know, as far as lightweight, check. You know, this is lightweight. Accuracy, yeah, you decide for yourself, everything else. Anyway, I hope that this answered your questions. I hope it provided you some valuable information maybe that you were looking for. Until next time, happy shooting. Remember, educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. And every time we're on the range, everybody's watching us. So that makes us ambassadors for the Second Amendment, whether you like it or not. So do me a favor, be a good ambassador, be a safe and responsible gun owner.